I thought this is going to be a Muku-centric arc, but out of nowhere, Moegami and Tenka show up. Technically, this is like a triple date right now. The way that Tenka did the Moe Moe Q and it just made Shido fucking eat. And then, not even that, Muku came out of nowhere, snapped his neck. You can tell that he broke his neck. He's bubbling at the mouth. Everything is fine and dandy because we got Kamael. Where are we going from here on out? Who's going to steal the kiss? Because, like, whoever steals Shido's lips, which I think Tenka might literally take that, literally cut his off. I don't know. I kind of want... I kind of want Tenka to win, though. Let's begin today's reaction. Probably why she likes her hair so long and doesn't want to cut it, right? We keep going back to the past memories and everything looks so happy, but, like, what happens? Older sister friends? Muku's just bad with sharing people? I think this all goes back to how she was feeling about Shido. You know, it's got to be just me. Look at how she's looking at her sister now. Like, all the attention is gone. Muku needs the person to only look at her. Reina definitely knows she's not playing shit, bro. Reina knows something, man. She's just giving us a side eye. Won't tell us the plot. She's just getting the time of his life right now. Yep. <laughs> what is what is even? <laughs> Are you surprised? Are you surprised? It's a date. We're trying our best here. Damn! Look at this triple date, man. Take us to the next battlefield. The way that Tenka speaks is so funny to me. It's just like so elegant and professional. Not professional. It's like a regal, almost like a princess. I mean, she is like the queen, right? <laughs> yes, your next battle is to secure a kiss. But like, Muku... I don't think she's doing too well. Oh, isn't this uh, where Muku had the uh, past memories in the beginning of the episode? You remember? She came with her sister. Her sister had friends. Yeah, what are you? I'm the queen. What are you talking about? Some good questions, finally! Original form? They're the original? What? The Sephiroth crystals, right? Sephiroth crystal? The origin created all the inverses, but the inverses are the originals. And then they're refined so that they're not evil and just kill shit. The spirit of origin. This is so important. This is some ridiculous plot. No! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> no! Give me more answers! We're getting closer, though. Do it. Just fucking... Yoink. <laughs> what a ridiculous situation. She just fucking picks us up. Maybe I'll just fucking kiss you right now. Muku, I'm sorry. This is a horror of a show. Not him. Are we really doing this inside here? Um. <gasps> Not her hair. Oh no. She might actually invert. She might actually invert, man. It's not only just that, right? Goes back to the past with the sister. She's locking? Unlocking? What is she doing? Wait, new form? What is this? This is not invert, right? Is it? This is... I have never seen a different astral dress type like this before. Muku basically turned the key on her. One is category E for Tenka, right? But... Muku is just probably different form of the base original. Uh, we kissed. What, have we steal spirits up until now? Kotori asking that because what's going on with Kotori? Why are people just having issues with memory other than the fact the whole thing that happened with Origami going back to the past and stuff? Kotori genuinely doesn't remember? Oh, oh, I, I forgot, I forgot. This, where, the reason she's asking all this shit is because she deadass doesn't know Shido right now, right? Because because Muku fucking, you know, unlocked. Anyways, yeah, I forgot about that. I'm like, why is, why is Kotori asking like how it's all been done before? No, that makes sense. Because this is the fourth season, Kotori. Don't worry about it. Oh. Moegami Shido duo. Holy oh, shit. Oh, shit. More Brunhild and Metatron combo. Or maybe it'll be Brunhild and Inverse combo. Nah, it's Metatron. I like the Inverse style more, man. I, I like the dark theme. I, I already did back in, like, season two, to be honest, with your humor. It was kind of... Nuts. I know this is Moigami and not Origami, but still. The CGI fights all over the place, man. 
it's not bad but it's just like whoa it's it's just like takes me away from the focus of the how it usually is territory yeah the fact that she's still calling it mikhail right means that you know it's still just uh not inverted right? i want uh nahema to go to the next the next the next stage remember same with the uh, to oh nice one good job classic that's oh this is amazing yo, yo no don't I'm degenerate, man. Why am I? Why am I telling a girl to? I'm like, no, don't remove, don't, don't get your clothes back. Yeah, we're gonna have a problem here, guys. We're, this is not gonna work with the horror plot. How are we gonna make her realize that you know this can't be monogamy? Oh shit, Tenka and Moigami. I mean, we know that Metatron is super strong, right? We know that Broomhild is like a new tech, so I'm gonna assume it's super strong. Who hates being alone? Whoa, 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 whoa! You have so many new friends! You know, so many new spirits, and you'll have Shido too. How do we convince her? Like, that it can't just be one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. Yeah, Muku, and you can have more precious friends too. Huh? I, how, how can you say that you have other friends? Don't you love Muku? If you love Muku, you'll forget everyone else. What, well, Muku? It's not that simple. I... This is some next level obsession, man. <gasps> Yoshino! Oh no! Be careful! Muku might try to kill you! <sighs> well, maybe we'll see a cool fight between them, but. Damn, she really out for blood. Oh. Huh? What is this one? Oh, she's actually gonna stop the orbital spin. Oh, Yoshino! First one to respond! No. Even though we made her cry last episode. You know, we showed up to Natsumi and Yoshino and she started crying. Damn! Of all the girls here, Yoshino's the one vouching! Yo, she might cut that hand off, though. They still haven't said Tenka yet. I wonder when that happens. Oh, hit her. No, hit her armor again. That was great. Molecular destruction? What? What do you mean? Mo he actually. She actually cut his. I said, what if she cuts his hand off? But no. Huh? Phantom? Phantom giving Muku the uh, Sephiroth core. What is her goal? And how does she relate to the origin spirit? Oh, she did the same thing to everyone else. She made everybody forget the memory. And then she got outcast like this. I see, I see. And the pain was so much, she locked her heart away. I mean, kind of fucked up for Muku to do that. But it's a child who's so lonely and desperate that she thought that was the best option, right? But damn, you really just fucking cut his arm off. I mean, can Kamael heal it? Gabriel and Haniel, because that's like pain relief, right? But it doesn't heal it. Like, we need to reattach the arm. Oh. Oh, shit. Why, why, what if she inverts, though? Stop! Stop, no! Actually, I want to see the inverts. I want to see an inversion, man. What does she look like? No, Shino, get away! Stop! No! Man, I want to see the inversion. It's fucked up for me to say that right now. Shido, how dare you console the girl right now? Let her fucking be mentally ill. I want her to be shattered. You know, I want to see the inversion for, for my own entertainment. I need her to suffer. Oh, they're finally talking about this. The reason why Shido has such empathy towards the spirits. Like the loneliness. That's why he can empathize. And he wanted to like collect everybody and like help them out, right? I love the Kamael animations going on in the background. Is that actually healing his arm though? Is it regrowing it? Like, how is that gonna work? Is this gonna be enough though? To make her realize that, you know, it, it can't just be Muku and someone. It's got, you can like have other girls and other friends involved. No, you can join. We got a spirit dorm for you. Classic Shido moment, dude. Classic main character Shido moment, bro. These are when he really shines the most. We're family. Not blood related, though. 
Is this talk no jutsu really gonna be enough? Kiss time. No, I want the inversion. Fuck. Maybe we'll see in the future. I think they figured out the whole earth un like the countering Mukuro's power to and then lock the earth spin. Everyone's memories are probably back now as soon as Mukuro gets naked. And what about Tenka? Is she just going to be chilling? I guess Tenka lost then. Well, that was kind of different. We had to do that there. I, I completely forgot about the competition. Yo, the astral dress is not disappearing. This is bullshit. <laughs> Another kill time back to back. But Tenka last time said she was humiliated. Oh. <laughs> this time it's not two. It's one handed. Just, oh my God, dude. Is she going to kiss us like this? <laughs> this is so emasculating. <laughs> she like, come over here, kid. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Now she returned back to Toka. All right. Bye, Tenka. Don't disappoint me? What? Don't make Toka sad. Totally different people. I know that. But it's like, what are you then? They still haven't called her Tenka specifically. Maybe that's like light novel shit. And you guys spoiled me of her name. Oh, another one. Back to back to back? Moigami not gonna get anything? Well, I'm not exactly sure how we convinced her to change her entire perspective. I mean, we did tell her a sad story, but... Uh, not blood related though. Being alone, no one to lose the place they belong. That's kind of true, but at some point, if you feel that you can never be lonely, like you must do something to not feel lonely, that's a problem in itself. You need to be fine with solitude. You need to be fine by yourself. And then I think you should seek out other friendships and relationships. But some people, I feel like, are so scared of being alone, they'll just get into toxic relationships and shitty friends that don't treat you well. And it's just a vicious cycle. We're actually gonna cut her hair. Long story short, like, you, sh you guys should be content with being by yourself. And then I think everything makes sense. post credit scene. Climb into Shido's <laughs> He's back. <laughs> She's back. My animal instincts. I love her. What are we doing? Muku joined the school probably? No, it's not Muku. Who are you? Oh, she's back! She's back! Where did she go? Where did she go? Not even just like the context of like showing up since like the last episode, whenever she showed up, but like at school? You skipped like two seasons, three seasons worth of school? Hello. Looks like we're done with the Muku arc and everybody has been telling me that season four is super hype. Super dark because of the Kurumi arc. It's about to happen. God damn, what episode is this? This is episode 8. Usually Kurumi shows up at exactly episode 7, but I think this season, because she showed up in the earlier moments, it's totally justified. I think from here on out, it's going to be some peak day to life. But on the topic of being alone, you know, a lot of people are so scared of being alone. A lot of people don't want to be alone, so they desperately cling on to different friendships or relationships. That's actually really toxic because they'd rather be abused rather than be I don't know, be alone entirely. I think that is such a sad mindset. And I understand that you feel, once you're used to some kind of dependency system, it's so scared to be by yourself. But once you realize how to be content, how to thrive in solitude, then I think it's worthwhile to then extend outwards. But if you're trying to use, you know, depend on friends and other people because you're so lonely, that I think don't think it's the right way to go about it, right? Maybe I'm just built different. Maybe I'm just a Sigma Giga Chat. I just personally love being alone and thriving in solitude. But at a certain point, of course, it gets lonely. But the whole point of this is you need to be fine with being by yourself before you can invest into a relationship. But it doesn't need to be this deep because this is just an anime reaction. Kurumi are coming up next. Hope to see you soon. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.